Welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for this Monday, January 16th, 2012. Our top story comes from the field of biotechnology, with exciting news that a lab at the University of Notre Dame has successfully produced transgenic silk from silkworms. As we've discussed on Brainstorm before, spider silk has many desirable mechanical properties, even over common silkworm silk. Farming spiders for silk is impractical at best, so previous research has attempted to produce spider silk proteins in mammals, plants, and bacteria. However, these newly created silkworms are genetically modified to produce a mix of spider and native proteins, resulting in improved fibers with around the strength of spider dragline silk. Despite the commercial applications planned, they're already working on a second generation of silk that's even stronger. And from the world of medicine, researchers working with DARPA have discovered a new and highly effective treatment for radiation sickness. It's a combination of antibiotics and an immune system protein. When tested on mice exposed to toxic levels of radiation, it resulted in a nearly 80% survival rate. What's really amazing about this treatment is the fact it's shown to work a day after the initial radiation exposure, whereas current treatments are only useful hours after exposure. There are even known differences between how mice and humans react to the protein in this treatment, making it possible that the combination will be even more effective in humans. Ultimately, this is an extremely promising treatment for radiation sickness in both ideal and less than ideal situations. Our final story is an update from the world of material science. Swiss researchers have developed what they say is like an artificial cheese rind. Now you might think the cheese rind is a metaphor for this material's function, but no. The main component is literally fungus used in cheese making. The fungus is sandwiched between two layers of plastic, the top layer being porous enough to allow certain materials in while keeping the fungus in. This ideally would create a self-cleaning surface as the fungus would eat any bacteria and other organic material. Most importantly, the fungus seems completely dormant unless food is present, potentially meaning it could survive indefinitely given some moisture in the air. Other applications are also possible, such as covering skyscrapers with this kind of material, but instead filled with algae for CO2 reduction. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.